Hey team, welcome to today's Daily Walk. So I wanted to share a phrase that has really, really helped me, uh, along with the grace of God, of course, to get through some trying times. And that was divorce the result and marry the process. Another way to think of that is divorce expectation and marry the process. So when I first heard that, I was kind of like, what do you mean divorce the result? That's why you have a growth driven process is to get a result. I mean, let's be real. You know, I want to have a process that gets my marriage better. That would be the result. I want to have a process in business that brings in more money, helps more people. That would be the result. So how are you saying like these results don't matter? Well, in the words of James Clear, a lot of times when we marry the expectation or we marry the result, we tend to not focus on the small wins that we get along the way. And when we aren't fed those small wins because we're just solely looking at expectation, solely looking at the end result, we tend to not really put in much. We tend to give up. We tend to quit. Let's look at the statistics. We are a nation of quitters. 85% of small businesses fail. They don't fail until the person quits, until the person says, I'm out. You know, people are right there from getting that promotion. They get frustrated and they say, you know what? I'm out. I quit. You know, the, 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 the marriage, it isn't where everyone wants to be. And, you know, it, it, it could maybe get better. But instead, people say, I quit. We are a nation of quitters because we have this expectation and we're chasing this perfection or this result. Well, what happens when we say, you know what? Forget the result. I'm in a growth driven process. I'm gonna work on this business every single day. And you're gonna be you're gonna have rewards that come back every single day. Okay, they might be monetary, they might be someone saying great job, there might be someone else noticing and being like, Wow, that's awesome what you do. You're a hard worker. Okay, they, they'll come in all different forms. But when you say, you know what, I, I'm not I'm not gonna get you know, a million dollars today, that's not gonna be my goal. There's a, then you're gonna find that you get more rewarded in the process. There's an old, uh, a, a book that I'm reading right now, and they go to the, 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 the Japanese, very, very structured in business. And the interviewer was asking like, what is your goal? And the, 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 the guy said, hey, my goal, it was like, you know, five billion in so many years. And then the interviewer asked, what is your time frame for wanting to meet that goal? And the CEO said 300 years. You see it? Because what basically what that CEO is saying is it's not about the five billion. It's about growing our company daily. And yes, it will probably take 300 years for us to hit this goal. Maybe it's 500 years. So that's the big part. When you divorce the result or when you marry the result, I'll say you tend to then cap. You tend to put a cap on your potential. You, you tend to say, cool, when I hit here, this cap, then I'm good to go. And then what typically happens, you might, you might set yourself a higher cap. Well, instead of keep capping your results, capping your expectation, grow, grow daily and you feel you, you are winning daily, okay? Grow the marriage daily. Forget the, the result. Yeah, well, you know, my, my wife's doing this, my wife's doing that. Grow, do what you can to grow that marriage daily and watch what happens. With business, oh, you know, people just aren't coming in. Follow a growth driven process daily, quit putting expectation, quit putting uh, expectations of a result and grow it daily. Watch what happens. Grow your faith daily. Watch what happens. So that was a big, big phrase that has made huge, huge changes in my mindset and in the results. Now I try to, I try to live life uh, through appreciation as opposed to expectation in all realms. Uh, and it's, it's really flicked a switch. So hopefully divorcing the results, marrying the growth during process, watch what happens, trading your expectation for appreciation, watch what happens. You guys have a great weekend.